everyone. Today we're going to do a book review of The Kingdom of Renly, book number five, Adventures in Flatbreast. So the illustrator is by Robert, Robert McPhillet and the author is Jordan Quinn. And so here's, the, here's a bit of the story. So Lucas and Clara, and Lu Lucas and Clara are best friends, and Lucas apparently has a pet dragon. So his dragon has some something a bit interesting. So he has some fire breathing skills. That's pretty normal. But he burned down all the ice in the cabinet. Whatever. <laughs> and he burned down other things like the teeter-totter, a seesaw, and Queen Tasha's favorite, you know, I don't, I forgot, but yeah, something that Queen Tasha liked. By the way, her husband is King Callum, as you might know, in the Kingdom of Renly series. So, he, they get scolded because Rush can burn down all the rice and cook his mat, all the ice and cook his mat because his food will spoil, such as his poultry, his meat, his custards, and other things. And so, they get scolded. And the and he, and Lucas asks if they can just get more ice, but Cook tells them that the giants only give us ice once a month, and now all of it is melted. So you so then he tells the king, and then Stiffen, one of the king's men, comes to address them. Lucas, your your father will meet you in the library, and he did, and he. Oh, and he, and then after like maybe a few seconds, he came into the library. The king was waiting there, and he was like, "What happened to you? What what happened to you, son?" And then he was like, "Why did you do such a thing? Why did you melt all the ice?" And then the king told him that his punishment was to go to Flat Frost, where there was so much snow and ice. And help the giants cut some ice and apologize, obviously. And Lucas is like, "What?" But the next, but the next time, and the more next, the next morning, he wakes up and he's like, "Mom, I don't want to go." And and but he still goes anyway. And then, guess what? And so, and then he goes, and it's pretty cool. And then he meets some giants. He meets three kids and two adults. A mother and a father, obviously, and three kids. Okay, so yeah, they were giants. Giants are like big people with trollish faces. And yeah, Lucas had never seen one in person. And then... And then Rushkin also gets his training for his fire reading skills. And then, and they also cut the ice. And when they finally return after a few days, they they show Rush they show the kingdom that Rushkin has controlled his fire reading skills. And then everyone claps and cheers. And then it's all happy. Thank you for watching my book review. Book number five, Adventures in Flash Frost, The Kingdom of Remy. Bye.